Today, I thought I would give a bit of a follow-up to the pro-Hamas rally that took place in Washington, D.C. this past weekend on Saturday, January 13th, 2024. So amidst warnings from the IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces, that Hamas jihadi leaders are helping to coordinate terror attacks worldwide, our nation's capital saw a pro-Hamas rally devolved by the evening of that day, Saturday, January 13th, into an all-out assault against the White House. Staff and journalists were instructed to evacuate the premises. President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden were spending the weekend at Camp David, and thankfully, no one was seriously injured. Less thankfully, no one was arrested either. Temporary fencing had been erected around the White House, in advance of the mob riot, after warnings had been issued about the afternoon's pro Hamas jihad jamboree. At points during the night, however, White House Secret Service in riot gear had to physically brace themselves on the inside of that fencing so the mob outside would not be able to breach it as they were threatening to do. Earlier in the afternoon uh, of Saturday, the red-green Axis mob that included Hamas supporters decked out in kafiyas and waving those red, green, black, and white uh, flags, plus their openly communist Marxist BFFs, had staged at Freedom Plaza on Pennsylvania Avenue in downtown Washington, D.C. Now, while the original theme of the day had been Hamas, Gaza, and the Israeli Operation Swords of Iron, launched in the wake of the murderous October 7th Shabbat massacre, by the time the mob had gathered on Saturday, their signs and chants also included demands that the U.S. and its partners among Europeans like the British cease Operation Prosperity Guardian. Operation Prosperity Guardian is the multinational coalition naval action led by the U.S. and U.K. against the Iran-backed Houthis terrorists in Yemen uh, who've been wreaking havoc uh, on international shipping in the Red Sea. Uh, all of this now taking place against a backdrop of warnings about both Hamas and Hezbollah plans to stage attacks in Europe as well as the U.S. mainland. Israel has published a diagram of Hamas commanders linked to terrorist operations in Europe, noting that the jihadis are attempting to acquire UAVs, drones, and to join forces with local criminal gangs. In mid-December 2023, Western European security authorities announced the arrest of Hamas-linked terror suspects in Denmark, Germany, and the Netherlands. By early January 2024, unnamed U.S. intelligence officials also were warning that Hezbollah jihad terrorists could target Americans in the Middle East as well as in the United States itself. Now, it's long been known that Hezbollah, under command of the Iranian regime's IRGC Quds Force, has been operating across the Western Hemisphere, including inside the United States, for decades. But given that neither Iran nor Hezbollah has ever been held accountable for their roles in the attacks of 9-11, or for the more recent dozens of attacks against U.S. forces across the Middle East, it's not hard to see why they may feel invulnerable.